Hello and welcome to another VB.net tutorial. In this tutorial, I will going to teach you how you can transform this code, which is currently written for pass by reference from a previous example, to global variables. So instead of pass by reference, I will use a global module, uh, gl global variables ap approach. Global variable is a variable that is available to all the module, all the functions, all the procedures within the code. So first of all, I'm going to just simply cut this and paste it out here. That will going to make it declare like a global variable. Simple as that. Since it's global, I do not need to pass them anymore. So because everybody can see them, there's no point of passing them. The reason you have blue lines over here because the receiving parameters, the receiving has two, and I'm not passing any. So once I fix my code, you will going to notice that these errors will go away. So I do not need to pass n1 and n2. I do not need to do any kind of bival by refs. Rather, everybody and and can can see num1 and num2. So they are they are accessible and they can be referenced by anyone. So that is why wherever I had n1 and n2, I've replaced that with num1 and num2. And as you have noticed, my entire code is fixed. I don't need to pass any parameters. It's a, it's a very convenient way of coding. Um, I have not done any changes to input num. I could very well just simply eliminate get numbers and keep accepting input from num1 and num2 inside an input num. But I want to do it sequentially, so that's why I'm keeping that code in place. So now if I run this program, you will not even going to know a difference between pass by reference and this code. I still am passing 8, which goes into number 1. So this particular line over here, which uh, we're going to call input num, the number will going to come in num1. And as I press enter and I put my next number, which is 7, that goes in num2. And as num1 and num2 gets updated, since they're global, they will going to be updated everywhere. So when this call is over, the control comes back to main, and main then calls display, and num1 and num2's values will going to be displayed, which are 8 and 7. So that's what exactly, that's how the global variables work. You can change them from anywhere, but when you change them, everybody can see that change. So hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.